Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name's Skyland. If you follow me, you know I play a lot of alpha, betas, pre-alphas, you know, basically, I play a lot of games with just specific press access as well. And so, since I play these new games, like, on the edge new, like, they're just brand new games, and I, hey, that's why you guys come here. And you guys probably come here so that you guys, you guys can jump in and play the new games, too. Um, but you, you guys should know that I come across a lot of NDA, non-disclosure agreements. And you, since you follow me, I'm assuming you're kind of similar, you know, in a similar position. Uh, you know, your players looking to play new games, absolutely. You're gonna come across, or maybe have come across, something called an NDA. And I just want to tell you exactly what that is defined as and how serious, you know, the implications that this document that you sign has. So yeah, NDA, it stands for Non-Disclosure Agreement. And you're going to see this a lot when it comes to specifically closed betas and alphas. Now, they're closed because they, they need to be invited. They want kind of certain people with certain machines and maybe even certain interests. A lot of these you have to, you know, actually like do a little test uh, to get in. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyways, so there's a lot of games right now that uh, I see a lot of people talking about in the comments that you really shouldn't be talking about, okay? Like, we got Quake Champions. A lot of people mentioning that. I see that on forums, people talking about... Really, uh, you shouldn't be talking... You, you signed an NDA, you shouldn't be talking about it. Um, Mirage Arcane Warfare as well was one of those games. So, um, but that, that actually ended, yeah. The, the NDA ended for that. But there was a lot of games that I saw you guys, and then, you know, uh, just the, gen the general community, the gaming community, just talking about when you really shouldn't. Non-disclosure agreement means that you agree to not disclose the information that you have become privy to. And there's a lot of reasons why developers, publishers want that. Um, but, uh, you know, for, I'm just gonna say for you guys, the reasons why you don't want to disclose that information would be because you can actually risk your Twitch or your YouTube or whatever. I mean, yeah, mainly those two. You can risk those getting like strikes. Um, you could be reprimanded in some way. I don't know how Twitch reprimands people. I don't know, would they just disable your partnership for a little bit? I have no idea. But on YouTube, they essentially do that. Yeah, they actually um, take away your monetization for six months, or they used to. Um, lately, I have been immune to strikes, which is pretty neat. Kind of wish, uh, yeah, that happened earlier. But anyways, uh, when I first started my YouTube channel, I'll tell you my example of me breaking NDA. Now, this was by accident. And I was still new to YouTube, okay? So I was doing a video on a game called Hawken, which was pretty hype at the time. Uh, it was so hype that I, I just, oh man, I had to get into that alpha. I did get into the alpha, and I knew if I was the first person to upload, I would get such cash, man. Okay, not really, but I would get views. And I was new, so I really wanted that. Um, but I actually did not, I, I recorded the video, and I didn't upload until the day they said that the NDA was supposed to drop. However, I think what happened was, is that I uploaded it technically the day that the NDA was supposed to drop, but not the hour that it was supposed to drop, or something like that. Uh, so I uploaded it, and also, some NDAs do stipulate if you are, like, if you record the, like, pre-alpha or whatever, the specific phase, if you record that gameplay footage, and then even if you upload it after the NDA has dropped, then that's it, like since it was under the NDA, then that still counts. Anyways, so some combination of something, whatever. I I, I broke the NDA. Um, I didn't quite mean to, but I did, and so that happened. And I got a strike on my YouTube channel. Couldn't monetize for six months, and it was a tragedy. It was an absolute tragedy. So it is serious. Okay, you could and you could actually hurt yourself, your gaming career, uh, if you wanted to do YouTube videos for fun or not. I mean, still that kind of that really sucks. Um, so you can hurt yourself, especially streaming. So don't break NDAs, guys. If you and one big thing that I want to, you know, really point out here is that if you break an NDA for a company, then you won't be able to do any future tests. They might, you know, elect to take your account out of the test. They might, I don't know, ban you. Who, who knows, man? What people could do. I mean, it's their game. They could do whatever they want with your account. Um, and if, if they're a big publisher, maybe like Blizzard that makes a lot of games, uh, Bethesda. You know, but companies like that, big publishers like that, uh, you might actually not be able to go and play their other games in the future, which would really, really suck, okay? So let's say, for an example, you broke the NDA on Elder Scrolls Legends, then maybe you wouldn't get into the beta of Quake Champions. And if you break the, you know, the NDA for Quake Champions, then you won't be able to play the beta of the new Elder Scrolls, whatever, who knows? Um, so that's just an example of why you as a consumer don't want to break the NDA, because they're actually pretty serious about it. And now I'm gonna tell you why publishers and developers want you guys to keep and maintain the NDAs. Okay, so this, I'm actually gonna kinda of side with the publisher this time, because normally I'm always 100% consumer, just consumer. But here's the thing, this would actually help the consumer. If you guys don't leak NDA stuff, it actually does help the overall community better. A big example that I can have here, and I'm kind of making this up because I haven't played this game yet, but it's Quake Champions. 
So a big complaint that I hear online in, you know, Reddit forums posts is that um, the video footage looks slow and Quake is supposed to be really quick and fast. Now, some people who played at PAX or whatever, um, they were able to explain and elucidate that, no, the game's fast paced and everything, the character's abilities, it's nothing to really worry about, it's still Quake, it's, you know, blah blah blah. But what if somebody were to play the NDA, the online version, and because of the, you know, the, the latency and just, I don't know, general fuckery of betas, what if it didn't feel as fast paced? Now, you know, it's closed beta and it's supposed to be fine tuned and everything, but the fact that it's not going to feel as fast to these people playing this closed beta, I don't, again, I haven't played it, I don't know, but if that is an example and somebody breaks NDA and just tells everybody, does a video and tells everybody, yo guys, this game is slow, it's awful, um, it doesn't feel as good, it doesn't feel like Quake, and what if it's somebody really popular or the video gets really popular, that's going to destroy the image of the game, and yet, People who have played at PAX said that, no, it, it feels really tight, it feels really good, um, it's actually it's still a very fast-paced game, and, you know, the closed beta is there for tightening everything up, the latency, you know, the ping and everything, and, and tightening all the physics and everything, and making it work in a multiplayer setting online, yeah, that's what that's what that's closed beta is for, and that's why the NDA is there, to keep the image intact, yes. That's true. It's 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 basically to publish the game, right? It's it's so that the game comes out as uh, baby faced, as fresh as possible for us consumers. But that's a good thing, okay? We sometimes there is misinformation. We are we like sometimes people can misrepresent the game because it's not in its full state. And I really hate when people make the excuse that oh it's in beta, it'll get better. Well, okay, here's the thing. If a game is in open beta, then you can shit on the game all you want. Open beta really should be for fine tuning relatively small things, okay? Open beta is essentially launch. Now if it's closed beta, and especially if it's alpha or it has an NDA, then you know that it is currently in a state that probably has some core things that still need to be tightened and you are there to make sure that those core things, those mechanics or, you know, like latency and the internet, the servers, you're testing that, okay? That's what you're doing. You're hammering that home. And if you come out and say that it's bad, well, yeah, because they, they're aware that those things are bad, they're trying to fix it. So that's the difference, guys. That's why NDAs are important for everybody. Why you shouldn't break them, even if you feel like, you, I don't know, you're like some freaking justice warrior, and you feel like you need to tell everybody that, all oh, this game, it freaking sucks. Um, and hey, that's coming from me, and I do the pre-impressions where I'm totally unfair. I, under, I understand that, okay? Um, but at least in that instance, everybody knows that I'm just talking about the trailer and just from the image of the trailer, okay? But if you if you actually played the game, it gives, you know, what you say a little weight, especially if you show images and stuff that you really shouldn't, that gives it a lot of weight, and it's still unfair. It's still unfair. You're kind of convincing people of things that totally probably will be fixed and maintained, uh, whenever the game is actually launched. So yeah, NDA is a no talk arena, no stream arena, no video arena, no record, no nothing, don't talk about it. Just don't, okay? It's good for you, so you stay safe, you know your accounts are all safe, you can continue to play games, you don't get a bad rep, you know, you, you still have friends, um, and also it's good uh, for the, the consumer as a general, okay? It's good for us so the game doesn't get misrepresented so that uh, we have a healthy population and a healthy mindset going into it at launch and that's good for the developers because then they have a healthier launch themselves you know they have more players who are more readily able to play the game and uh, you know mentally and <laughs> they're ready to jump in and have a good time and that makes them money you know it's good it's good for them overall so yeah those are that's ndas guys non-disclosure agreements agree <laughs> to uh, not disclose the information. And trust me, it's good for everybody, okay? That's coming from me. I'm completely pro-consumer, okay? I promise you. you. Have you seen my videos? I'm pro-consumer, I promise you. Anyways, I love calling games out on their bullshit, but if they ask you not to to share their shit, I mean, if their game's shit, it's shit, but they're, they're at least in earnest, they're asking you to try to make it not shit, you know, help them out, okay? So that's what it is. Um, and that's gonna be, you know, the kind of the whole thing of verbatas, um, alphas, especially alphas, you know, if you get invited into these games and, you know, I know this is coming for me and I love to just shit on games. I really do. Okay. I've done it many times, but I need you guys to genuinely, whenever you play these games, know that you're there to test the game, not to, not to just play, not to just have fun. It can be fun. Absolutely. That's what I'm all about, but you're there to test, to break some things and try to fix it. That's what you're there for. Um, it's kind of like paid labor, but hey, if you enjoy it, then you enjoy it and you have fun, and hopefully you do, because that's what this channel is all about, right? Okay, anyways, playing new games, having new experiences, making new friends, having fun. Hope you guys are having fun, guys. My name's Skylant, and I'll see you in the next one.
Oh, wait, hold on. We got to make it to 10 minutes. One second, guys. Yeah, no. Not an, not an elongated outro at all just to make it to 10 minutes. Okay, there we go. Bye.